Ed here today with Extreme's 545 console. It's obviously known that Extreme build boats up to a bit over 11 metres, but this little 545, nicknamed the Puddle Jumper, as they like to call it, has got plenty of space, it's got great fishability, and we'll have a bit of a look through it, have a bit of a fish out of it at the same time. You'll see with Extreme, their design is very much scaled from their big, bigger boats right down to their smaller boats. So you're getting all the benefits and the design and the detail um, that you are getting up in, in your larger boats in these smaller series. We speak often about Extreme's broad beam at the waterline, downturn shine, running from transom through to bow. It couldn't be more crucial in a smaller console. The ability to walk around freely, and again in consoles, gaining that dry ride letting this boat cross into a little bay boat and light offshore work. Throughout Extreme's range, the workmanship that goes into these boats is easy to see. Even in our smaller boats, the attention to detail. Rod holders, again, are all fully welded. Still our bung bases, have alloy bases that are welded into the boat. Right through to our live bait tanks. As you see in this boat, min coder ready. The raised floor in the front, you've still got a large area to walk down the side decks. Again, another example of Extreme's attention to detail is the way they give you a lot of options. We've got our leaning post seat here, which you can have right through the range up to the 745. Clearly you've got your bench seat where two people can sit. You can drop, drop it away and it can then be used as a leaning post or you can remove it completely. So if you're just out flicking plastics for the day. Also then, you can put it in backwards. So if you are bait fishing for the day, grab a seat, chuck your feet up on the transom and fish away. We've got removable rod racking through the entire console range and even into the Game King series as well. They clip onto the side pockets. It lets the individual have as many or as few in the boat at any one time. So depending on who's going, how many people, how many rods, you can be well catered for. Again, being able to customise the layout of your boat is important. In this boat, we've got a live bait tank. You can go back to a walkthrough transom if that's better suited or nothing at all. Again, it's a way that we can, we can cater for the individual. Uh, storage, it's that one word when we're looking at purchasing boats is storage, storage, storage. In the front of the extreme, the seat lifts off. We've got a huge storage area there for tackle bags, stuff that you're getting constantly. We then dive down deeper into the bellows of the boat for the items that aren't used as regularly. Under the console, we've got an open cavity more storage, whether you're carrying drone boxes and that that we are today, tackle bags, again items can be easily accessed. Console layout, this is a fairly straightforward fit out in this boat, you know, binnacle control, Yamaha command link gauge, easily visible. In this boat we've got a 7 inch Raymarine, the new Axiom series, which we've been having a bit of a play with. We've got our switch panel, our keys, hydraulic steering, we can fit out these consoles as basic or as extravagant as they need to be with larger head units, whatever the individual requires. In the console range, our fuel fillers are mounted on the side, making them easy to fill. Even in our 545 Ranger boats, anchor winches are still able to be fitted. This boat obviously doesn't. Again, we talk about extreme, wide waterline beam, full in the bow, even in the 545, our winches are completely concealed beneath the deck. So even if you want a capstan or a drum style, you're not cluttering up the top deck. We get to play around with a lot of big boats in our industry, uh, but I am a hardcore fisho and I, I love my plastics and my lure fishing and I can't tell how much excitement you have running around in these smaller boats. They, they really are an exciting boat to use a fun boat to use, and probably more importantly, a very capable boat. This 545 console is a very versatile boat. 
And today we're up in the mangroves chasing some perch. Tomorrow you might be out in the bay. You might be getting out doing some offshore work as well. And we talk about it all the time, but wide water line beam gives you the stability when you're walking around throwing lures. The downturn chine running from transom to bow gives us the spray deflection that enables you to cross into some rougher water boats, into some beach launching and getting out off the coast as well. It's so versatile and you don't often get that in these smaller boats. Well, thanks for having a bit of a look through the, um, the 545 console today. Uh, I think you'll agree that they're such a versatile little boat. So if you're in the market for probably one of the driest riding little consoles there is, um, you've got to have a look and consider this.